Hi guys and welcome to the kitchen. Today we're going to be using the Kitchen Magic with Mickey cookbook and we're going to be making, what are we going to make? Turkey pot pie with cheesy biscuit topping. Turkey pot pie with cheesy biscuit topping. And this recipe is from Cinderella's Royal Table in the Magic Kingdom. Cinderella's Royal Table is a restaurant inside of Cinderella's Castle in the Magic Kingdom. What? It's a beautiful view. It has a beautiful view of Fantasyland and it is one of the most coveted reservations that you can get in Walt Disney World. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what Cinderella's Royal Table is like, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below because we did get a reservation at the Royal Table. So we're going to start our recipe right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our onions and we know a little trick to prevent our eyes from tearing when we cut onions and what is it? Putting on dark sunglasses. We put on our sunglasses. So the little chef is going to use her sunglasses to cut the onions. All right, let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to heat up the oil in the skillet. Okay, okay we're going to let this warm up and then we're going to add in our onion, celery, carrots, and the garlic, which we already pre-cut. So now that the oil is hot, we're going to add in our vegetables. Would you like to pour, would you like to pour that in? Yeah. Careful. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Oops. All right. And we are going to mix these vegetables around for about eight minutes until they're soft and the onions are translucent. So I'm going to actually set my oven timer so that it's an exact eight minutes. And. We will cook these up and we'll be right back. Easy, don't let them out of the pan. Oh, that looks yummy. So we've actually used quite a bit of recipes from this cookbook and every recipe that we've tried so far has been really delicious. Um, the thing that I love about the recipes is that they're never a hit or miss. They just always taste good. The thing that I don't like is there are a lot of steps to the recipes, but I guess if you want to eat something that tastes good, you have to put a little work into it. The thing that's really fun about using a Disney cookbook is that you can kind of bring the magic home. Uh, all of the recipes in this book are recipes that they use in the parks and some of them are from uh, Disney World and some of them are from Disneyland, some are from the cruise line. You can basically have a little day of Disney food at home and for Disney fans like us, that is something that's really fun and we look forward to doing things like this. Yeah. Yes, we are. So now that our vegetables are soft and the onion is translucent, we're going to add in uh, some rice flour and then we're going to cook it for a few more minutes. Would you like to add in the rice flour? Just be careful of your hands by the, by the pan as it's hot. You can sprinkle a little, sprinkle all around. Okay. And we're going to mix it up. Mm 
Alrighty. We're gonna cook this for two minutes. Thank you, little chef. Here, just don't uh, push it too hard. Reason why after you put flour in a pan, for those that don't know, and you cook it, is to cook the flour taste out. If you don't cook the flour for a little bit, it has a very raw flour taste, which is not complimentary to the food. So you always wanna cook your flour for a few minutes to just get that uh, raw flour taste out of it. What am I doing, Mama? Very good. And we are going to now, we're gonna add in the vegetable broth. So. All of it? Yep. This recipe is actually a turkey pot pie, but we're substituting chicken because we have a rule in our house that we only eat turkey once a year, and that is on Thanksgiving. And it's partly because Steve hates turkey and even on Thanksgiving, uh, it's almost impossible to get him to eat it. So we are doing uh, chicken with this recipe. Chicken pot okay. pie. So while this is simmering, we're actually gonna cook up our turkey so that we can add it into this um, brothy mixture of vegetables. And in the meantime, in the meantime, little chef, we're going to add in some sage, some thyme, some pepper, and that's it. <laughs> some sage, some thyme, and some pepper. So right here we have the sage and the thyme together, and we're gonna pour that in. Go. It's sage and thyme, fresh herbs, and some fresh pepper. So this pot pie uses a gluten-free um, crust that goes on the top of the pie. Um, we're using rice flour, baking powder, and baking soda. And we're going to put it in our handy dandy food processor. So you're going to pour this in here. We're going to pulse it to combine it. So you just basically press. So now we're going to be pulsing in the butter, the cheese, and the flour mixture that we added before. So go ahead and pulse that up. Pulsing. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add in heavy cream to our uh, rice flour mixture and it says in the recipe that you're not going to use all of it so I'm just going to add it in a half cup at a time and we're just adding this in you can mix that up with your spoon and we're just basically adding this in until the dough holds together it looks like we're going to need at least another half cup so I'm going to add that in and it looks like it's holding together pretty well. So I've made a few different pot pies. Um, I've used regular pastry dough and I've also done pot pie with Bisquick on the top. And they're not really my favorite. The family really doesn't enjoy pot pies very much. I'm um, hoping that this is a winner because I do like eating pot pie 
but the family doesn't. And if maybe if I can find a really good recipe, then we'll enjoy it more. After trying to roll this with a rolling pin, I realized that the gluten, because it's gluten free and we're using almond flour, it is quite grainy um, and it is not very easy to roll. So what I'm gonna do instead of rolling this with a rolling pin is I'm going to separate this into sections because uh, this recipe you can make one big pot pie or you can make six individual pies. I am going to make six individual pies for the six of us in the family. So I am just gonna take these little rolls that I have and I'm gonna separate them into six individual pieces. So now that I have them divided into six pieces, I am just going to flatten them out with my hand uh, instead of using the rolling pin. Um, wait. Watch out. I'm trying my best. Do you want to finish this up? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. Alrighty, so while the little chef finishes flattening out the dough for the top of our pies I'm going to divide the turkey mixture between these six individual oven safe pans and I'm gonna do it with a ladle I'm just gonna ladle one scoop at a time and then I'm gonna keep filling it up in that way As you can see, each pie is going to be very hearty. There is a lot of meat and veggies in here, and it's definitely going to be filling for us to eat these. Wow, it looks delicious. And it smells really good too. So now that we have everything divided evenly, as evenly as possible, we are going to add the gluten-free crust to the top of these and we're just going to do our best because some of them are a little bit big but we're just going to push it down oh, on top <laughs> okay I can't wait to did you want to try doing some of this or you want me to do it I want to try. all right so if it's too big you're just going to squeeze the sides down okay not too hard because it'll push all the juice out all right little chef go ahead and put it on there Okay. Next. This one was the perfect size. <laughs> it looks great. This one looks a little very small. So this recipe uh, is actually on the children's menu of Cinderella's Royal Table. And the thing that I love about visiting Disney is that they are so accommodating to food allergies. Um, if you do have children with food allergies like we do, uh, you go to any restaurant and they will s send the chef to the table to talk to you if you have any concerns about food allergies, what you can order, what you shouldn't order, what you should stay away from. They explain to you uh, how they keep things separate in the kitchen and you just feel very at ease about the food that you're feeding to your children. It's just nice to go somewhere that you feel that they really do care about your family. So now that we have everything set, we're gonna pop these in the oven for 24 minutes and then we will take them out and give them a taste and let you know what we think. So we've just taken our Popeyes out of the oven and they look delicious. What do you think? Good. They look really good. I think that these came out really great. So we are going to do a taste test um, and then we'll talk about what we think about the food and the recipe in general. So yeah. I'm going to taste uh, the bread first. Careful. Hey look, I think I got some of the... You're going to go? Mm. Mm. The top is good. That is really good. So... <clears throat> This, uh, this is the first time that I'm trying a gluten-free crust. Um, I have to say that it's really very tasty. 
it has cheese in it so I do taste the cheese in there it tastes uh, it reminds me of a corn uh, muffin but with a lot more flavor it's not bland like cornbread it's it has the salt and the cheese and it's very flavorful I, I love this and I took some of the liquid bottom. You love it? Yes. Wow, this is delicious. The liquid bottom is good. Okay. I have to let this cool down. But, wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let me try it. Did you try any of the chicken? I haven't gotten to taste the chicken. I'm gonna pull out a piece of chicken from the bottom at least. <coughs> Can you get a piece of chicken? There was a lot of chicken in there. You gotta dig out a piece. Fish. Uh, oh no, don't put it in your mouth. Just blow it. Okay. The chicken's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is so delicious. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is really, really good. I think we have finally found a pot pie recipe for the family. All right, I dipped the crust inside, so I'm gonna try it. Try it. The crust and the pot pie at the bottom is really good together. I would, I would say that if your children or your family or just Whoever's going to eat this, if you make it, if they like chicken soup, they're going to love this. I can't wait for the rest of the family to try it, and I'm going to let you know what they all think. So, right off, I just wanted to say about this recipe a couple of things. So, the crust was definitely not rollable with a rolling pin. Maybe I was doing something wrong. If you try it and you're able to roll it, let me know in the comments below what you did to roll it out with a rolling pin. But just measuring it out evenly and pressing it down uh, was super easy and it came out beautiful so it really doesn't need to be rolled anyway uh, the other thing is that in the recipe it says that you can divide this between six individual servings however the recipe is supposed to serve eight so it would probably be better to put in a big casserole dish if you did want to serve eight people. Uh, that's just something to think about if you make this recipe. Uh, remember, you can either, maybe you can make eight dishes instead if you want to make it for eight people, or you can do a big casserole dish for the eight people. But overall, I would say that this is a fabulous recipe. That'll do it for today. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a like and share with your friends if you think that they would enjoy it. So until next time, bon appétit!